Hello everybody, my name is Ande and welcome to another super cool video today. This is going to be all about Five Nights at Freddy's, the movie official launch trailer. Well, not launch, but the official trailer for the movie is finally here. I uh, I know I listened to the, or I watched the last one a little bit, uh, a little bit late on time, but that's because, you know, sometimes, you know, I'm just not able to make a recording or a reaction of it, but sometimes it's worth it. Sometimes, you know, you get a little bit spoiled along the way, no matter how many days it is. And you're like, no, I wanted to say that for the reaction. I don't know how the people do it. But this time I'm reacting to it just one day late, one day late. And I've only seen maybe a few things, but I don't know anything else. I don't know about nothing. I don't know about squat. I don't know about anything. All I know is the furry animatronics are around here. In this trailer. Definitely. For sure. And uh, what's his name? Uh, the Herbal Man. Definitely. 100%. Anyways. Uh... <coughs> Excuse me. Anyways. Uh, I guess that's all I'd say. Let's uh, get started. Put his face. Let's put it on the trailer. Right. Okay. Is this the right one? Yes, it is. Okay. Here we go. Ready? Boom. Ooh. Hi, this is Mike. Mike. I was just calling to see if that job that you offered was still available. Ooh. Yes. The Terrible security man. guard. I will take anything. Well, sure. This place was huge in the 80s with the kids. They shut it down years ago. The owner's just not ready to let it go yet. Oh, I hear. I hear. I will work and you will sleep. I understand. Off. Taking her with her. Come here, Ed. Ooh. Uh, Megan. That was a good All one. you have to do is keep your eyes on the monitor. Welcome to Freddy oh, Fazbear, the where him. fantasy and fun come to life. That's not a good thing okay. to do. Oh. Oh, it's her. Vanessa. You must be a new security guard. Can I uh, help you, officer? Have you met them yet? Met who? Them. Them. Well, those are classic headphones. In the 80s, kids went missing. Oh. The police searched Freddy's top to bottom. Hello? They never found them. Oh. It's why the place shut down. There are ghost children possessing giant robots. <laughs> Thanks for the heads up. Wow. Just Technically, they're animatronics. Whoa. What do they want? They want to make her like them. Bobby! Tell me how to stop them. <laughs> it's too late. Hey, whoa. Uh, Bobby, go! Uh, it's a grip trap! <laughs> Where to? Why do I always get the weirdos? What if we Wow. wow. Wow, 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 a lot. Oh, whoops, that was the wrong thing. Okay, wow, that, a lot happened, and so much happened that I don't even know how to process it. So, uh, <laughs> okay, that was, oh, uh, I have to go back. I, I want to go and do, you know, you all know how it is for me. I do, like, a little trailer thing, usually, and then, um, well, after that, I look into the trailer, you know what I mean? I do, like, a little... Uh, breakdown of sorts, you know. I, I give, I react to it. I give my thoughts, and then I break it down, which is exactly what I'm about to do. But um, yeah, it's just like it's crazy how much not that they, how much they give away, but like how much they just tell us that this is the case. You know what I mean? Because it's understandable, really, because with so much is going on in the games, so much lore for sure that it's like um. You know, 
what once would have been okay just uh average you know indie players you know people who want to play indie games for the heck of it you know support indie titles all that back then i'm sure you know they just did their own thing all that you know what i mean like they just played this game and they're like wow that's pretty cool and then like eight years later you know they're super FNAF fans that are so deep into the lore, the characters, all of that. I'm sure, you know, depending on how they want to take this movie, or take this franchise, really, because I'm like, if I remember, recall correctly, there was a, the, the official announcement of it was not just one movie, but three movies, you know, like a, a complete trilogy. Touch What's quadrilogy? Okay, quadrilogy. Qua- quadrilogy is the quadding of the trilogy with four in it and three is the trilogy and duology is two so we're getting a trilogy right so it like leaves a lot to be uh not desired but like it uh, leaves a lot of room for them to incorporate whatever they want into this trilogy um i would think the best way to go for the second movie is to bring in the toy in or trucks you know Bring in that, uh, okay, these, the classic gang, they're all, like, beat up and such. And then the new people, the new guys, are the new new ones there. And I feel like, I don't know, depending on how they do it, they could do the exact same thing with FNAF 2 did, which, uh, spoilers if you haven't played it, which, like, kind of was seven years ago. Or eight, actually. It, it, it was literally eight. Eight years ago. Um, spoilers, FNAF 2 is a prequel. So, would they make it a prequel here, too? Or would they have... I think the best way to, like, avoid confusion, especially from general audiences, because, you know, sometimes... Sometimes it, they, they need to be... I'm not saying they need to be handheld through things, but, like, sometimes um, things are too confusing to the general audience-goer, movie-goer. Like, I'm not saying, like, okay, oh, you're, 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 you're just not too smart for this. Um, I'm just saying, you know... People who are well into the games, they know about a lot of stuff. But those who don't go into the games know very little. You know what I mean? So it's just like, you know, it's a case of should they take this in this direction or this way? I think to avoid uh, confusion and probably just, you know, change it up a bit from the story that we know, all know and love. (laughs) um, They could take it in a direction where, okay, this FNAF 2, the FNAF 2. The Five Nights at Freddy's movie 2 is going to take place in the future. You know what I mean? Take place... Well, we don't know the... Do we know the exact date of when this takes place? We saw Mike with headphones. Like, not even good headphones. They're just old, like, little cloth things. So that's got to be the 2000s, right? Because that's where, uh... That's where, you know, they used to have those back then. And then when the 2020s... Or the 2010s hit, uh, everybody got... Earpods. Earbuds, I mean. You know, the little uh, the little thingy with the, the little volume thing and the, like, kind of a microphone. You're like, <laughs> and then you raise it or lower the volume. And sometimes when you're trying to, you know, just lower the volume, you accidentally press the button to skip the song. And that's super annoying because you just wanted to raise the volume or lower it, but you end up skipping the whole thing. Anyways, uh, so yeah, like... I'm very interested to uh, see where they take this franchise. Because I could see... Yeah, okay, there's FNAF 1, obviously, the first movie. FNAF 2, the second movie. FNAF 3. Would it be about f- the FNAF 3 location? Or would it be about, you know... Would they take it into a direction further? Like, Ultimate Custom Night. Or, no, no, no obviously... <laughs> I don't know why I said... Would they take... Sister location. That's what I meant. Sister location. Would they take it there? Super high tech, all that. Would they take it... Uh... Uh... P- 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 what's it called? Pizza Simulator. You know? Where a new guy is there and they have all these... People just coming back for this. Would they take it that route? Or... Would they just go... The Big Honcho... Security Breach. Would that be the third and final movie? Everyone is back and they're in this giant pizza flex... Would that be would that be good? I think it would, depending on how you know these movies go along. That could be a good way to kind of finish and give a sense of finality to this 
French, the movie franchise anyways, because, you know, judging from all the games, I feel like they're going to go on for quite a bit longer. <laughs> Not that I complain or anything, I, I, I honestly feel like FNAF, Five Nights at Freddy's, is definitely, uh, it's definitely a franchise with enough story, lore, and characters that I believe could keep going on for a very long time, you know what I mean? Like, it just has so much world building, so many, like, intricate details and stories and all that. It's just like, you know, it's just very cool to see, I think. So, uh, yeah, I think I've talked a lot about, enough about this thing. Let me just go and, uh, where is the thing? Boop, I'm gone. Now I'm back, but smaller. And then, this right there. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Not yet, not yet. Okay, and, ha, boom. There we go. Okay, so we're going to do a quick little breakdown, frame by frame, all that. New Rockstars type beat. Okay, so here we... Oh, wait, no. I'm not doing that. So here we have him driving up through the road. So this is either going to be, you know... Oh, this is the day in the life of Mike. Michael Schmidt. Or Afton. I don't know where... I don't know the direction they're taking him here. Um, so, you know, this could be... Oh, this is him moving in with her sister. I think his sister, Abby. I think that's who she is. Um, the girl we see later in the trailer, she's like, uh, <laughs> anyways, so, uh, so like, yeah, that's, that's definitely an interesting way to, uh, establish, you know, character. Okay. He's very protective of his sister and all that. And that's pretty good. That's really, that's really relatable, I think. So yeah, this is either him. This is probably him, his car. So he's like moving in to this neighborhood. Is that her, I think? I think it's her in the back. Okay, so we have Mike. Mike Schmidt. He has a bike. Some chairs here. This is a nice little home. So this would be... Uh... Okay, well, we don't see an official date around here, but I feel like, you know, this is obviously kind of a smaller house, you know? Little pot there. Plant pot, pot plants. They're not very well fit. Look, there's nothing there. Or there. Or there. Maybe this is like a parent's house. Or like a rental I think there's someone back there. Or I'm just screaming. Or and uh, no, nah, why would she? Why would he not go and open her door? Never mind. She's probably somewhere in the house. That's why there's a light on. Okay, here he goes. This is Mike. Okay, so here we have Abby. She's cool. She is a little. Uh, is that a scarf back there? Or it's a little plush plate. There is a bed. Well, it's not a. <laughs> yeah, it's a bed. That's a couch, bro. Yeah, see, I guess calling to see if that job you offered was still people. And here we have the purple man, the purple guy, the pur uh, the purple guy. Look at him. He's like so. He's like so. Look at him. He's just casually here, all collected and such. He's just like, bro. Why am I here? Why am? Why are you? What are you doing here, Mister Steve Ralligan? See, Riley can't wait. What is this? I can move the captions? That's helpful. Uh, yeah, Steve. Okay, hold on. What? What? No. I you know you go over there. Think about what you've done. Uh, so Steve Ralligan, he's a career counselor. Interesting. What do you have in that black there, buddy? Okay, so, um, look at him. It's like his tie and such. His paper. <gasps> what does it say? I can't read it. Ah! career can okay so it looks like after he done and did his w dirty work he became a career counselor and changed his name to Steve Raglan Raglan which is interesting cuz i'm pretty sure his name was like super super different in the the books it was uh it was um okay so in the book the first book five days of freeze the silver eyes <laughs> His name was Dave Miller, and he was the security guard of this mall that Freddy's was a part in. This abandoned mall that Freddy's itself was in, located in. It was, like, already, you know, closed down. So, that seems to be the case here, where it's already, you know, in a closed down location. So, it is interesting here that... Let me move this back, actually. That Mike is in contact with this guy, which, you know... I don't know, depending on how they take this, he's, this could either be his dad or somebody... This could be, you know, Mike Michael Afton, Mike Schmidt, 
It's kind of a, huh, I didn't think about that situation. So, like, yeah, are you his dad? Are you just a friend, a family friend? And he's like, yes, a security guard. Notice this is a note of delinquency. Uh, this is a note of You didn't respond to me. I can't read the rest of it. It's all blurry. So, where, where's, is this on the door? There's a nail, but you decided to tape it, sure. Oh, he just takes it out. Oh, he must have... Okay, so this is probably him after a, a job at another place. And then he... Oh, he's a delinquent. He gets booted off, pretty much. So that's why he's holding this here and then calling somebody. Or he doesn't... Oh, yeah, that's the phone. Yeah, his phone is... Wait, hold on. This is important. Smart... No, apparently no smartphones. Okay, this is... Uh, that's a little... Um, what kind of phone is that? It's like a little, uh, it's like, um, what's it called? It's a little, it's, 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 it is a phone that has dials, right? And you spin the dial to select whatever number you want to press. It's like the super, super old phone from, I don't know, the fifties, bro. I'm, I'm, the oldest phone I got was smart, not even smartphone. It was a flip phone. And when I got the flip phone, I did not care for it at all because the iPhone was out. And the, I, I lost the phone when it was in my pants and my mom washed my clothes. So, uh, yeah. So, yeah, he was uh, taking it, which, you know, he probably doesn't mean it, but seeing how whatever is going to happen, happen, we'll see about that. For sure. So, Blumhouse. This place was huge in the 80s with the kids. <laughs> you, you would know about that, wouldn't you, dude? Okay, the 80s. So, like, okay, so, depending on how... The phrasing is worded here. This could either mean... Okay, so it's in the 80s, right? They name dropped the 80s. So this means that this could either take place in the 90s or the 2000s. <clears throat> you know? So that would still leave, you know, a lot of room for the sequels to give a much better, much broader uh, timeline. Because, I mean, you know, really what we see here is a close sign. Uh, the sign is very much on its axis, and there's no Freddy thing here anymore. So this would mean, you know, is Fazbear Entertainment still around? Is it still, like, you know, being in its developmental state? Developing a way to come back? I'm not too sure, but that would be a very interesting way to take it. Like, okay, it's not, it's not much doing much here, but, like, you know. Where would be next for... Hold on, give me a second. <clears throat> <clears throat> Alright, I'm better. This place is huge for the kids. They shut it down years ago, man. Their owner is not just ready to let it go yet. Oh, okay. I guess that makes sense. Yeah, the, the owners, you, probably, or what's his name? Uh, Henry. Henry and Fazbear Entertainment. Which, they're sometimes they're kind of the real villains here. You will work, I will work, and you will sleep, is who he te Mike here tells. Oh, the little Abby, look at her. She has a teddy bear. Which, I mean, do, do maybe leave her with a babysitter or somebody. Don't just take her to your work at an old rusty pizza place. Look at this. There's probably nails everywhere. There's probably... It's a cage here. It's probably rusted. You'll get, you know, tetanus. And all the dust in there, you probably get, you know, uh, a cold. You probably get a cold, dude. That's not cool. Check that out. Look, they got the old, uh, the freaking, the old gum machines and such, you know. One has gumballs, one has Skittles, one has, pe uh, not peanuts. One has, um, M&M's. And then these, they have stickers. And then this guy, this what oh, you can see it. <gasps> I think you can see little balls. Little balls that had toys inside. Those are so cool. Those are so cool, dude. You don't even know. You don't even know. There's a spaceship. A bunch of chairs. He's so protective of him too. That's that's really that's really adorable. I like guess really sweet too. So he takes Oh here we go. Here is a here's a lore. Um cupcake, pizza, Bonnie. Oh uh, Chica Foxy more cupcake Freddy <laughs> the cupcake and everybody else here. I can't. I can't make out a bunch of anything else, unless there's a little zoom. Oh, this is cool. 
like a little window thing. Yeah, uh, here we have Foxy there. He's we saw that in the last trailer. He's cool. And for the booster and Megan, which you know, if you haven't seen before, is a really good, really good balance of a silly concept adapted into a silly esque movie, but still being like it still balances out. You know, the humor, the silliness, all the concepts, all the concepts. All of the things that go into it, making it a very good movie. And that's what Megan was, because it was really good, I think. And uh, I feel like that's, you know, they're going to obviously take what they got from Megan and adapt it into here, you know, showing off its silliness, its seriousness, and scariness, for sure. So I'm just very excited. So we see a mouse in a vent. Look at that. This is a little guy. Little guy, little mouse. Curious. What the heck? Sadako? That's Zarko. Um, wait, wait, hold on. Uh, I, I saw, I saw this before. This was, um, they have cameos in this movie. So this is, uh, was it 8-Bit Ryan? I will say 8-Bit Ryan. And that is, is that Raz Balski? No, it's not Raz. <gasps> That's Fusion Z Gamer! Fusion Z Gamer, I know him. I, I, I'm kidding, I don't know him, but I know of him. Like I know these other YouTubers. I'm just saying, guys. YouTubers know each other. All of them, for sure. I would love to meet him. So cool. <clears throat> um, all you have to do is keep your eyes on the monitor, bro. That's definitely what it does. What are these other people? Also, FNAF YouTubers. Well, we have the striped uh, coffee cup from. Uh, what's that movie called? It was a. Uh, it was a. Uh, Samuel L. Jackson. Yeah, everything is definitely old here. It has a little, like a flip switch, and everything here is all dusted. Look at that. This is an old. This is an. This is an old computer. Look at that. F eighteen, F thirteen, F seven, F one, Escape, Pelco, Pelco. What is that? What is Pelco? I don't know anything about. There's a one dollar. There is a poster. I think there's another poster. That's cool. All you have to do is keep your eyes on the monitor, dog. That's, ooh, hello. This is interesting. Uh, here we have Foxy over here. That's really cool. That's a really cool image. I like that. Pirate's Cove. Um, I believe that's the party room. More party rooms. Something. There's lights there. And I think one of these is the stage. That's what I need. That's what I need. They actually have cameras. Oh, okay. That is better. Um, yeah, party room, hallway. Party room, hallway. Uh, more stuff. This turns on a thing. Let's make it what looks like an extra. Oh, okay. He has a, he has like a tape and he turns it on and which activates his commercial. This is okay. Look at you, dude. He's he's like Mike. Mike. Um, he look, he's like super. He's like super relatable in this movie. Like just a tired guy, trying to look out for his sister, and has to find a way to survive against these guys. Like yeah, it's cool. He still has a foxy plush. I want it so bad. It's Halloween. Oh, and here we have, uh, what's her name? Look at her, Vanessa. She's a police officer here. Look at her, she's waving. She's so silly. She's great. And look how she dressed. And I'm like, oh, you must be this. Oh, whoops. No, no, no. I didn't mean to pause. You must be the new security guard. I mean, that's neat. She must have saw, like, him pull up and decided to come by. Okay, so, by the way, he addresses, can I help you, officer? Can I, uh, help you, officer? Uh, uh it seems like they haven't met by this point. And so, you know, after he goes in, like, a, one day there. Or actually, hold on. Depending on how this movie takes place, are they going to actually spend five days here? Is he going to, like, go in one day, nothing happens, go in the next day, something happens, and then go in the third day, something else happens, and then the last few days, he's going to go in here to try to save them, you know? Is that, like, is that where they're taking it? Have you met them yet? Wait, was it Shelly? Does that say Shelly? Am I crazy? Vanessa Shelly, is that your name? Is that your name, Miss Officer? Officer, that's uh, she she really got to step up from security breach, dude. She was like, 
just a security guard there. Now she's an officer. Good on you, Vanessa. Good on you. Have you met them yet? And she's referring to the party guys. This is interesting. Um, M F B D I O W M R X R X R X Q. Oh my God. No, it's, there's no Q, unfortunately. But you know, if you know who R X is, Q R X. If you know who R X Q is, you 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 a real one for real. This is also pretty unsettling drawings. I'm sure, they don't mean to. It just looks crazy to see. Of course, they met them yeah, and you start about met who them. Then we see, yeah, look at that. It's like old timey headphones, dude. Look at that. Look at his face. Beautiful face. Um, look at uh, look at his just his headphones, dude. Those are like old classic headphones that you put. You don't put it in your ear. You put it over your ear. I know that sounds <laughs> that sounds dumb, but like these were the slimmest things back then. You know what I mean? Like, of course, they have, you know, the big headphones for, like, for hunting, for, you know, for, uh, you know, well, you know what I mean? Uh, when they had the big headphones for, um, what is the word? It's escaping me. You know, when people are out there on airplanes, the pressure is too much for their ears, so they put it on headphones. Like, in comparison, these things were the slimmest things back then. I actually had one of these, I think. It was, well, not, obviously not one exactly like it, but I had one similar. It was this little, like, circular thing on your head, and you would put it over each ear, and the little cushion, it would soften the feeling of the cold metal against your ear. So, you know, in a way, it does its job of being good headphones. For sure. So I think he, okay, so he was just there relaxing, and then he falls asleep. Huh, <laughs> phone, phone, phone guy. Oh, he has uh, pills there. Probably melatonin and such. There's tape. There's like a notebook journal thing. There's that. There's the camera system. It's really neat. It looks very, you know, like they don't, you know, make it all high tech and such. They make it very worn down and such, which is really cool. It really adds to the the ambiance. The <laughs> ambiance. So I was over that. We see, uh, we wake up from a nightmare. I guess the nightmare. That we see later. Going on. Ooh. Well, apparently something. Oh, Nebraska. Is this where it takes place? Nebraska? Are we in Nebraska, dog? No more uh, Utah? So something goes on. The, the trailer goes up. Or not the trailer. All the music starts up. <gasps> What's that? Is that a huggy? No, it's just a bunny. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Got worried there for a second. Um, yeah, actually. Hold on a minute. This whole place shuts down. Everything is down, closed. They still left the toys inside? Bro, don't leave the toys inside. Give them to somebody. Just open it up and let the kids take it. Like, for real, dude. Otherwise, you're going to be there for centuries, dog. Cyclone? That was a fun game. So on there. Is that a projector? There's a board game's genie. Oh, hold on. I think the lighting gets better. Hello, what is uh, this is the what this is the old masks you get at like party city, bro You were you get them at Walmart I have them here. Oh Man look at these guys Wait 2,000 tickets for those or tokens for those these And only 13 or 1300 tickets for these that is a I am taking the plushies all day, dude not these masks. These, like... Okay, well, usually if you go to, like, party sitters, and these things are, like, $40. For, ooh, party hats. Thank you, sign. Little tray there. There's an exit over there. That's helpful. There's some cups. There's another bunny down there. Well, there's a bunny. There's a... There's a Chica. Then there's a Freddy. And there's masks. All the masks there. Okay, here's a better view. Uh, if I had Freddy's... <laughs> Is this, is this, it looks like another state. Or that's the ball pit. That's the ball pit, dude. That's totally the ball pit. Oh, look over here. Look over here. There's a, there's a thing where it, a ball comes out. You get the ball and then you throw it in. I was the best at those back in the day, dude. You don't even know. You don't even know. Okay, so after that, then we get a good view of these guys from the back, really. Look at them. They look old and 
Christy. Look, I like how his ears go side to side. Look at that. That's cute. That's really cute. And then they start performing. That's really awesome. See? What? What the what? Hold on. We need a view of this. Look at his teeth, dog. He has two lower teeth. His jaw opens up. I thought he was gonna... I thought he was just gonna hop around and such. But nah, bro. It opens his mouth. He has a mouth. He's like that, that one cupcake, the Nightmare Cupcake from FNAF 4. He has a mouth there, bro. Mr. 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 Cupcake is going crazy in this movie, dog. For real, for real. So I guess after that, Mike wakes up. Well, he goes to turn off the power, which this looks like a, another break room. Or this is the room that he's in. That's probably the room because the camera's here and he was on a... He was on a chair, there's some lockers, some books. Then there's uh all this back there. That's probably got a room and he's going to shut off ooh. Very light. So this is probably before Vanessa comes to visit. Probably even the night before. Who knows? Okay, so maybe we have a closer look over here to the hallway. There's uh uh there's a two I guess it's like a, oh it's like a it's like a What's the word? It's like an enhanced system, you know what I mean, sort of? Where these, they're all small, but you can bring the small screens, regardless of which one it is, onto this big TV. That's neat, that's very cool. And it works apparently, because you know, so it's going to party hacks. And then, what else? And, okay, here you have the lore drop. Um, Well, this, this I really like this frame in particular, because, you know, this is exactly it is from the game. Anyway, we have a view of Fox. Look at his pants. He has a button. Look at his foxy here, dude. His arm is all rusty, too. And his hook. Look at his hook. It is huge. His hook was not like that in the game. This is like a FNAF 2 hook. Oh, no. My head is covering it. I'm sorry. So, like, yeah. They say the kids went missing in the 80s. Okay. I mean, did we see part of it firsthand. First hand, get it? Ha ha ha. I literally didn't mean that, sorry. Um, yeah, we're, we're gonna see that happening? What? Please. Thank you, Vanessa. How do you know this? Please search the phrase top to bottom. And here we have Abby, I guess. Okay, she clearly had to go to the bathroom, and then it was out here, we're just walking around exploring the place, which, to be honest, what kid wouldn't if they were allowed to be able to play all the games they want? Well, I mean, you know. Unless they have a ticket stash some or a token stash somewhere, um, they could easily play all these games, or you know, just want to go see Chucky or Freddy in the very back. I never found them. Yeah, the way his eyes light up here too. Just look at that frame. That's so. That's so pretty. Hold on. That's so pretty scary, dude. Look at that. Scary, 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 for sure, for sure. Okay, so after that we have um just a normal view norm uh, <coughs> set of bird's nest. That's probably a bird's nest. Normal daytime view. Here, hold on, what is going on here? Hello. Who are these guys? Okay, um depending on what we see here, look this guy has a like a crowbar section. This guy has a baseball bat. What does this guy have? Something? A device? This woman here. They pulled up in a pickup truck and a motorcycle. Are these... Are they... Is this... You know... Is, I, okay, my immediate thought is... Like, these are the parents of the missing kids. And they're going to go after somebody... Who they think... Did it? Like, I don't know. Are they going to go after... <laughs> Afton himself? Or are they just going to... Is this... Because... If you remember in the games... A suspect was found, but... They never confirmed it. You know what I mean? But I think so. Is, is this them? Are they on their way? Is this Freddy's? Hold on. Look at the building there. It's all bricks. Is this like behind the building? Maybe it's just behind the building, dude. Or no, 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 no. no. Hold on. I think I see, we see this guy later in the in the thing. Janitorio. And we have this guy. Oh, oh yeah, because <laughs> I remember uh, Bonnie, he goes in the jan janitor's club. Oh, okay. There we go. That's confirmed. This guy was... With the mob, and now he's in this closet with Bonnie here. 
And he very clearly doesn't make it out. Yeah, it goes to the present animatronic. And I like how... I like how they say this right away. You know, they don't have the big mystery of, Oh, what's really going on? Is it really... The, the, the characters themselves or is it actually the ghost children and yeah this pretty much confirms it here with Mikey and what I assume this is going to be like the dream sequence of the movie where he sees okay this is Foxy obviously the Foxy ghost and he has a hook very big hook yeah here we see another lineup so I don't know I saw that wasn't confirmed to be Freddy either him or him back there, or white hat. And they all run. Essentially from the tree. He's like, thanks for the heads up, look at him. Look at, look at this, look at this group of mystery, our heroes here. Vanessa and Mike. I never thought we would see this pairing. Look at them. They're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna. I could see, I could easily see them carry on the movies. Carry the movies, depending on how, you know. How sexual this one is. I don't know. Would that make sense for them to bring Mike back for another movie? I, I, I would say maybe a second movie. But I don't know about the third. You know, depending on how, you know. Depending on how the story goes. You know what I mean? Like maybe, you know. Mike comes back to the second movie. Vanessa, no. But then she shows up in the third movie as a brainwashed uh, Vanny. You know what I mean? Like that would be that would be something. For sure. I, that's just, this is just me thinking out loud. I'm not really saying that that's what I want. I said, technically, the animatronics. But she asked, smart Alex there, Vanny. And we have this frame of Freddy here looking all scary and goofy. He's a little goofy. But he's funny goofy. Just keep it fun. He has a little welcome room. That's neat. So I guess this will be, you know, also a telling of when they're alive alive and not just doing their own thing. Is when their eyes glow red or orange. Oh my god! It's Balloon Boy. Keep him out of this franchise. He was the most annoying thing ever. If you played FNAF 2, you would understand. He is the worst ever. He takes your flashlight, bro. And he leaves you to die for Foxy. He is just the worst. He is the worst forever. Who look who is this star guy? Look at this star man. Star man guy. Look at him. Mr. Cupcake. Mr. Cupcake with a weird eye there. Cupcake again. He's under a lamp. Freddy on stage. Chica. Rainbow, I think. Balloons. Cell tower. And more balloons. Fish. Somebody. David. David Miller. Uh, confirm. And yeah, I guess. Okay, hold on. This, hold. I didn't even see this. This is not. This isn't Freddy. This is Golden Bonnie. This is Spring Bonnie. This is Purple Guy. And he's not even like. They don't draw him creepily different for anybody else. They just draw him like they draw the other characters. So they think. He's part of the show. I think he's part of them. Which, I mean, you know. Everybody did that. When, every, when everyone saw animatronic Chucky on stage. And a guy in a Chucky costume walking around. They didn't think any differently. They just thought he was the same person. Because the curtain's closed. Sometimes. Or he's his brother, you know. So, like. It's crazy to see here that they legitimately did think of him as one of the characters. And that's very unsettling. Because, you know. He's able to, you know, convince them so easily like this. It's just so unsettling, man. So crazy, dude. For sure, for sure. So they want to make her like them. So they want to bring, essentially, the FNAF 1 song, uh, join us, join us, you know, join us to be part of our family. Look at Foxy, dude. Look, he looks so cool. Look at him. His fur on his face, right there. His eye patch is actually eye patching. Wait a minute. Did did we ever see his eye patch? Like have a little cable like go to the back. Because as far as I know, it was only ever just you know 
a little thin line on his face that would go up and down, up and down. I can't remember. Look at his teeth. His teeth look, does he have a golden tooth? <gasps> no golden tooth. Well, maybe not in this side, but maybe in this side. Yeah, look at him. He looks so fluffy. I want to touch his snout. What? No. Yeah, look at him. He's Abby. He's worried. Obviously, anybody would be worried. Look at him. Mr. Cupcake. He's evil. He's an evil this guy. Look at him. He's, he looks like he has freckles. He has buck teeth. Look at him. He's he's making a mad face. He's the he's the vil he's the real villain. Oh, even yeah. <laughs> Look at him. He's okay. So he's this is him normal, and his eyes squint, and his eyes get. <laughs> I I think he really is gonna do something in this movie. Like I don't expect him to be an actual threat, but I think he's gonna just hop around, be more like a nuisance, you know. Like maybe at least in that one game where. If you step on him accidentally, he alerts somebody. But yeah, that's so funny, dude. Look at him. <laughs> uh, so there's one in this trailer. Uh, obviously, the nightmare begins. Tell me how to stop him. And here we have... Oh, okay. So, this is interesting. I think this is Mike. He's running through... I think the word was like something about a mall. He was working at a mall before this. So he's running towards a mall somewhere. And then here we have somebody... Uh, this woman and right super close to Freddy you're not supposed to touch Freddy dog I mean if, oh look at them we can see his his inner mouth and then giggling and somebody's hand just popping out I don't know if that's Abby I don't know if that's intentionally a ghost hand but that's just unsettling and then a chair falls for some reason he steps on a ball it's too late look at him right there look at him he's he's gonna drop the hottest Banger of 2017. Look at him. Look at his blue eyes. They look cool. Look at his eyes, dude. His bow tie. He kind of looks like his unibrow. <laughs> look at him. His mic, too. Is his mic connected to something? Is it like... Does it go up his arm? And then down? And then onto like a little platform, in a sense? I'm sorry. I'm thinking the logistics of... Ooh, look at that. It looks a little... as little... Little star patterns. That's cute. That's cool. Now we have the stage lights. Uh, blue, yellow, blue, yellow. Or, sorry, green. Blue, yellow. Blue, yellow, green. Blue, yellow, green. Blue, yellow, red. Red. We have red. Um, so here we have something I did not expect. It's spring trap. It is spring trap. Look at me. He's all green. He's the white eyes. Hold on. We get a better look at him, I think. This is Abby, my go, and he's very clearly this one. Who is this kid? Is this like somebody? His little airplane. <gasps> Does he become Balloon Boy? Oh no, it's probably part of the dream. Because he's standing right there. Ooh, that's interesting. Someone tripped and fell. Hit their head on the table, maybe? She's missing her shoe. <laughs> Look at them, they're just standing out here. I like how she has her cupcake. <gasps> she has the empty cupcake plate. And the cupcake vented! Oh my god! Look how Bonnie's sitting here. Look at him, he has paw pads. She has paw pads, too. Look at her feet and toes. Okay, what else? Because a lot happens here. Okay, they turn to look at him. Let's go. <gasps> Vanessa, what happened? What happened to you? What happened? Okay, so this is probably like... This is probably near the climax of the movie. Something happens to Vanessa, and she has to go to the hospital to be taken care of. And so... My, that gives Mike the determination to find out what's really happening. To go and destroy Purple Man. Dun -na 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 -na. Na -na -na. I don't know. I'm just... I'm, I'm, I'm guessing. And here we see him laying out somebody. Jeez. That's a powerful punch from Mike. So much that this guy, this big guy, has to come to stop him. Otherwise, he would have gone ham on this man. Who, I mean, very likely probably was behind something. Defending, because he apparently, like, the fight probably at least took here. He punched him into the water. Or he was hit towards the water and then he drags him into the water. And then decides to keep punching him. Which, you know, probably deserved. Hold on. 
Oh, he he's venting. He vented. Look how dusty it is there, bro. Is there somebody behind him? Okay, here it is. Here is the scariness. The 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 the, the peak of the trailer. Look at him. Look at the springy, the spring trap man. Okay, so obviously we saw earlier William Afton is still alive. So this is him wearing the suit. This isn't him dead yet, or at least not yet yet, because you know, this might be what it has in store for FNAF three. If you know, they go that far. Yeah, you can kind of see his face there too. Look, you can see his beard stubble. He's definitely alive one hundred percent in this spring trap suit, and has a knife. Like that's this. this that's super crazy, because, you know, if you know anything about spring locks, at least to an extent, they're armor, so the guy has, like, plus 10 armor on right now, and plus 10 strength, because, you know, the spring, the, um, the anima, the, the strength of the robot is also a part of him now, especially if he's wearing this suit, and with the knife, bro, he wants nothing more than death for Mike right now. Look at his look at his eyes, dude. He looks exactly like the game. That is insane. Yeah, bro. Look at him. He's okay. So he's not as withered as he is in FNAF Three, obviously. Nor does he have a rotting corpse, for lack of a better word, inside of him because he is gonna be. But so this is probably how it's gonna end. Um, he's gonna d almost destroy Mike, but then Mike, the, or Abby, Mike or Abby, either one, will go and pull the thing and activate spring locks, causing him to die a very horrible death, and then he won't appear for the second movie, or he would appear, he might appear for the second movie, for it being, you know, the teaser for FNAF 3, and then he appears in FNAF 3. So, that would be, that'd be a cool way to do it, I think. So, yeah, here we have... Him trying to escape and is in very horrified if you could obviously seeing Matthew Lillard in the spring lock suit. That'd be that'd be that's this is me right now, scary for sure. And this is either before or after he gets put into like a little torture device. And yeah, uh, cross beams, wires, and animatronic devices. No, no chiz phone guy. This is like a Freddy mask. An actual Freddy endoskeleton mask. Red eyes and all this inside. Which I don't see why you need that in there for, but... Whatever. And then we have Corey Kenshin! I need to watch this guy. He's a YouTuber. Call 555-0188. That'd be cool, man. That'd be so cool. You get a taxi ride from Corey Kenshin. He talks about... Talks about himself. And you listen to him, dude. That's like... That's a... That's a good idea right there. Listen to your FNAF new YouTubers while they're driving. and But except they're the ones taking you places in a taxi. That's cool. That's cool. So then we have... He's where, where there were two and then he turns around. And this, this has got to be... This is Golden Freddy. This is Golden Freddy. I like how he has blue eyes. That's really cool. No eye here. And no ear. So it's like FNAF 2. Pretty much. He was like, why do I always get the weird... That's funny. Hold on. I think you get a better view of... <laughs> okay, so... There's Abby. The Abby girl. And then we have Golden Freddy just sitting here. How does he fit? How does he fit in this tiny cab? I like, his, I like how his eyes are blue. That, that also makes him, you know... Different from regular Freddy. Because he has like a blue eye. Totally not Sans. And, uh... Missing ear and a little bit of damage here too. That's interesting. I wonder if they're going to go into what he's about. Because, you know. Unless he can teleport, he probably did. To be honest. Because he's, he's technically like a ghost. A missing ghost. Without a skeleton. That's why we don't see. Or we see a little bit there actually. If you all can zoom in. Oh no, my face. It's covering it. Be gone. See, as you can see right there. There is a little bit of... A little bit of a... Uh, and just goes inside of him. So that's interesting. That's very interesting. So, uh, yeah, I guess that's all. And theaters in Peacock! I'm not watching... I'm sorry. I I cannot see this on streaming. I am watching this in theaters, dog. 
I like how she's holding his hand. That's that's cute. That's really neat. And it also kind of looks like... <gasps> What's his story, Bagans? Oh, wait a minute. Wait a second. Wait a second. The story by Scott Coffin and screenplay by Scott Coffin. So he's definitely way more involved than, you know, most uh, most video game adaptations where the guy's just like, yeah, go ahead, do it. No, this guy is... Scott Coffin himself is involved. For sure. Screenplay by Scott Coffin and Imitami and said Cudback. That is a very cool last name. Okay, anything else? Yeah. Directed by Emma Tammy. That's very that movie. And released Universal Studios. Okay, so wow, wow, wow. Okay, so yeah, for sure a lot's gonna happen in this movie, and I'm very excited to see what's going on. I wanna go back to Swim Frame. Just one look at him, bro. Just look at him, dog. He is. He's gonna. He is really gonna put himself up there in. One of horror's top, like, antagonists. From both this movie and whatever movie will come where he's involved as Springtrap himself. Like, for sure, dude. For sure. And it's so cool because, you know, back then, everyone used to... Hold on. I'm small again, or I disappeared again, and now I'm back. Like, because, like, back then, dude, he used to just be, like... Okay, he's a very... He has a very cool design. He's from FNAF 3, and he isn't used anywhere else. Like, I'm pretty sure everyone wants him dead by daylight, for sure. But, uh, yeah, just his design alone, I think, is what everyone well, is what everyone else said. Like, he is up there in top, uh, top horror icons, you know? Because this is his design alone, his story, his all of that. And it's rightfully so, because, you know... This is a this is a this is a franchise that has so much story, so much character, so much lore into it that it is only. And I'm very surprised that it only is just getting a movie. Not just getting a movie, as in you know, why didn't they get a movie sooner? But you know, they just wanted to make sure they have the perfect thing, and this very clearly looks like it's going to be the perfect thing. It looks so so dope. Anyways, uh, I guess that's all I have to say. Uh, I am very excited. I can't wait to watch the movie, and I can't wait to talk about it. Hopefully, I've been wanting to get into, uh, you know, like giving my thoughts after movies. Do you all want to see that? Please, let me know if you want to see that. Anyways, uh, yeah, if you all like this video, uh, please like, comment, and or subscribe. And I guess I'll see you all next time. Hope you all have a good day. My name is Zande, and I'll see you all later. Bye bye.